Yo, what it do? It's your man, Nico B. The real black effect. Yes, the real black effect. I'm going to get into this. So let's go ahead and, and um, get into the topic quickly. The wild, wild west, man. <laughs> is is the is certain places becoming the wild, wild west? You know, gun laws. I'm like a person who's in the middle when it comes to the gun laws. Certain people... I believe should have guns who know how to use them, who, you know, who go went under like there should be a scrutinizing process for that. You should be able, and I'm not talking about guns that you own in your home for home defense and, and stuff like that. I'm talking about people that feel that they have to walk out their house, walk around in public and in a person with with guns on them all the time. Yeah, I'm finna talk about that. Yes, I'm a person who's a strong believer, again, that not everyone should own a, a gun. Not everyone should own a weapon. You know, kids shouldn't be walking. These young kids walking around with guns, they shouldn't even have access to guns. When I was growing up and stuff like that, man, when you was a kid like or even a young teen, you 14, 15, you didn't have no access to no guns. Which you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't have access to no guns. You don't even know what you, you don't even know how to run your own life yet. Why would you be given access to this, this thing? Because that's what, that's what it is about guns, man, and, and weapons, period. Like when you get a gun, I don't care what nobody say, unless you are disciplined and unless you are one of those people I was speaking of who know, uh, who know the gravity of having it and you 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 trained and you a type of person who who don't who have a um a even temperament you don't need to have a gun because what that's going to do is hot. And you've heard this saying before I know you have I know you didn't probably seen some of your partners like you know that that's have done this or said this when them niggas got a gun now them niggas started feeling like John Wayne they start feeling like Rambo they got them a pistol and they start feeling like Rambo. You know, now now they 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 move and they they got a little more more bass in their voice or you know, now they acting different. You look at that nigga like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Or uh, and because what that is is because guns and stuff give you a false sense of power. That is the truth. Like that's you know you can look it up. This is this is just the truth. It gives people a false sense of power. Now, if everybody, when everybody walking around with them, say you get two people, two of those same type of people, and they both got guns, that breeds the situations you see on the internet all the time. What situations am I talking about, Nico? I'm talking about the situations where people get killed and they needlessly when they didn't have to. If it wasn't guns involved, nobody would have died. And the situation that was going on didn't warrant anyone to die in the first place. But what's going on is it's the wild, wild west, mother sucker. <laughs> wild, wild west. And what do I mean by that? Is when people, when you got unhinged people with easy access to weapons, situations that otherwise would have maybe ended. Like in the Bible, let's say, man, you know, if you fight another man and you strike him and you hurt him, you can repay him later. You know, no matter how, you know, you can really hurt a person with, with, with beating him up, too. Like you can break a person orbital bone, you can hurt them bad. You know what I'm saying? If you really know what you're doing with your hands, sometimes hands and feet can be a deadly weapon with the right person. You saw the guy get choked out on the subway, but if you just beat a person up, you can repay them later and heal. They pay their doctor's bills, heal their wounds. You know, pray for them. If you um, if you hurt hit a dude, like I say, break their bones or something like that. The bone will mend. You can go, you know, pay their doctor's bills. If you don't have the money, you can pray for them. If you kill a person, now they life over. 
You know, your life, you know, you depending on the situation, if it, especially if it was like what are the situations I'm speaking of, imp of just impulsive situations, you're going to go do some time too. If not, you know, life in prison or something like that. So that's two lives lost. Your kids out here, you know, they ain't, they don't have no mama or daddy no more. You know, why would, and you, you did all that when you could have just, you could have took the time to assess the threat level of the situation and understand that you didn't have to do that. And a lot of times, if you train with a pistol and, and train with your weapon, you can know how to wound people or do, you know, again, man, if I'm not talking about legitimate situations. Like a legitimate threat, but I don't see that. You see this all over social media. You see this on the news. You see people. You see this in your uh, amongst your peers. You see people going to jail for stupid stuff, and you be like, man, why did you even? You know, dudes doing most of the time. These dudes, you know, just be doing stupid things and and making impulse decisions. You know, the situation, you just see a dude just come in there, just come outside. He just, he see another dude and then he just pulling the gun out of his pants and just blam, blam. They both just blam and shooting indiscriminately. They both just shooting indiscriminate in places of business and in the public. But see, you wouldn't be doing that if you didn't have access to all these guns. You know, you got niggas getting, getting switches and all types of add-ons and accessories and all this stuff, man. What you getting all these, you know, all this stuff for? You ain't going to even, you probably will never, ever use it. But see, when you do that and you ain't going to never use it, you start getting niggas to have a mentality to be, to start looking for reasons. You know what I'm saying? They start look, trying to play vision. That's what the gun do to you. For some people, it can start to play, make you play vigilante. You think you the punisher now. Nah, nigga, you not Frank Castle, nigga. Put that shit up. Put that gun in the closet and go sit your and go sit your ass down. My thing is this: I don't even go to places where I think I gotta bring my, you know, my weapons. I don't go to places like that. I go to places, you know, what I'm saying where I don't feel, I don't feel like I, it's, I, my life is in danger or it's nothing I can't handle, you know, with, with what God gave me, and and I depend on the Lord definitely in in every situation even if I you know what I'm saying I got to regulate something like you you could be in a shootout and nigga and nigga shoot you up you know what I'm saying so I depend on God in every situation bro like you got to have faith in your life we operate on faith in most aspects of our life but you know I just I I I give thanks to the Lord and I you know and I go out if I if I die I die if if something happened it happened like you know it's nothing that's how we have to operate as humans, like being in fear for your life. Now, again, if this was like in the wild, wild west where you had marauding bandits and stuff coming to try to take what you got while you rocking and doing your thing, then I'll be rolling with, with the pistol, the bulletproof vest. And I'll be rolling with, you know, that that mask that the nigga spitter got, you know, a couple grenades, some ninja stars, a katana. I'll be moving with like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I'll be in my everyday life, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it's ain't this ain't like that. And some people, like y'all, it's you. Like, you know, these guns, and it go for women too. You know, it, the guns be, you know, making your making your coochie wet and all that. You thinking that this is a game. You know what I'm saying? You thinking to give you some false sense of, of power. Nah, man. You know, a nigga mess around, you know, take that stuff. And see, the thing is, is when you pulling out guns and stuff like that, now you heighten the threat level to death. So, whereas otherwise, the other person would have may have not been thinking about killing you. Now, if you don't, if you don't kill them, the situation is they will kill you now. You know what I'm saying? Because you tried to kill them. So if you know you get the blazing and blasting and, and something and, and you miss and or a nigga get to you and you know you pulling out a nigga disarm. I've seen this a nigga disarm you. You know what I'm saying? You, you're finna die. And and otherwise you didn't have to do that. Like if you just came there with without all uh, pulling all your weapons, pulling our guns on niggas and bah, talking crazy. If you had to just did that or been man or woman enough to scrap, you know what I'm saying, or, or just talk it out, then none of that would have happened. Like you know what I'm saying, when like the you would have deterred all of that by just not being so impulsive. But them guns be calling you, man. You remember that song, uh, Born to Die from Spice One? He was talking, man, how he, he was saying how his guns was talking to him. 
you know, my gat screen fire. Shoot the nigga. He a liar. Like, talking to my 380. That's what niggas be doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? When hood niggas get depressed and, you know, stuff ain't going their way, they start talking to their guns and stuff. Niggas start looking at them, playing with their guns and click, click, clacking and click, clacking them. And, you know what I'm saying? I know that, bro. Like, that's what niggas do. Niggas get depressed. They start playing with the guns, looking at them guns, talking to them joints. You know, nigga, you need to seek Jesus. You need help. You need to go seek somebody. You know what I'm saying? For you end up dead or in jail. That's your only destination with the NG. Like the Lord, the Bible is the truth, my nigga. It says when you live by the sword, you shall die by that same sword. If that's what you live by, you will die by that. Look at what happened to King Von. King Von was trying to, at the one time he was trying to fight somebody, you know, he ended up dying by that very sword that he lived by. You understand? And this is numerous people, like countless, countless people we can name. They countless rappers, countless people who, you know, who just regular folks that we may know or that we seen on the news, the news stories we see of people having incidents where they just having road rage incidents. Then a person go pull out a gun, you know, where it didn't even have to go that way or go that route. You see the instances, instances in stores where, you know, because a person ain't get the order right, you know, now nigga pulling a gun, you know, now they shooting it out. And, you know, you see instances of, of, of all these little knuckleheads just standing around on the street corners and standing around in places, random places, just packing up everybody, packing a bunch of guns. Like, you know, like a lot of these guns is probably illegal. You understand? Pack, it's like... No, you like they are. They really do need to crack down on that. And that's why some of these states got strict gun laws. Now, I'm not saying they need to be so strict where everybody getting locked up. Regular everyday citizens can't even, you know, who actually, like I said, doing the work to do diligence to um, to go to go get trained and stuff like that. They should be able to have that stuff. and You shouldn't harass them. And again, guns to me are for home defense. Well, the places I go, I shouldn't have to be pulling out my guns and stuff like that. Even if I get into a, a situation where I get into an argument, I don't just, you know, it should never go zero to 60 where I have to pull out a gun on a nigga or he pulling out a gun on me. And if a nigga doing it like that, I'm be like, man, nigga, you got it, nigga. What? You know what I'm saying? You know, it was a it was an accident. You know what I'm saying? Shit, what what's pulling out a gun on me gonna do? You feel me? But again, some people you do that, you know, and as soon as a nigga start reaching, like a nigga just jump right on his ass, and then the situation it went zero to a hundred, and somebody gotta die. You understand what I'm saying? Like, go stop do stop going places where you think you gotta be packing, you know, a whole arsenal and stuff like that. I know, like I said, niggas be jacking and, you know, if, if you got something or like you, you got a, you got some nice things. I know you got to defend that. You know, your car, you can have your gun in the car and stuff like that in your glove compartment or wherever you want, like, or whatever. If it's on your person, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. You know what I'm saying? All I'm just trying to give you is, is some knowledge behind things and how things really be working. You know what I'm saying? Like how it really does work in reality, though. In real time, you turning things to the wild, wild west. Old ladies going to have guns out. You know, you know, the you know, these good old boys got their guns. Niggas got the good old boys. You got the, the the niggas. Just you got the old ladies. You got the clerks. Niggas, everybody got their weapons in there, and ain't nobody trusting nobody. So it's paranoid niggas. Niggas smoking mad weed. You you got it's paranoid niggas. It's people. The society don't trust nobody, and a bunch of people got weapons. Intentions is high as hell, and then niggas is abandoning the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Faith, cruelty, and and things like that is 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 setting upon the earth. You know, so the spirit of the Lord is not is is not on the earth as as big as it you know used to be, only a couple of years like only decades ago. So you have so high, such high tensions, all this stuff going on. It's the wild wild west, man. So with that being said, it's your man Nico B. Black Effect. I'm gone.